All right, uh, here goes something. Give me a moment to fix the sound a little. And I'm just doing a mic test right now. Uh, all right, let's continue. First thing I'm going to do is go through all of these passwords that I got because the general gist is that I'm going to have to get every card in the game. Some of them are only accessible through password. So, all I gotta do is press R3. I already input two of them. The two I got from the actual game were Earthshaker from White Rose Side and Fairy's Gift from Fairy's Gift from the uh, Red Rose Side. So, I'm just gonna go on ahead and do this. Uh, give me a sec. I'm doing them in alphabetical order according to what IGN has. Although I'm sure there are other passwords I'm probably missing. And this is and basically how you use the password system is by uh, pressing the R3 button or uh Pressing on the right analog stick. Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. What does that do? Well, okay, trap cards can't be triggered. That's actually pretty good. Now for Aqua Dragon, my ace for a lot of the game. I have to... that I can pretty much get rid of this card and this card in exchange for that one. Oh, right. It has to be you have to basically be at the chest with the R3 button. You can't do it straight from the deck. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Barrel Dragon. Okay, okay I didn't go far enough. <sighs> King of the Swamps, what does that do? Okay. That's better. Now I just gotta go to my dashboard and see how I'm doing. Hopefully, not too badly. Although... Anyone watching? No, doesn't seem like anyone's watching right now. <sighs> Alright. So I gotta keep going. Right, the next card is Black Skull Dragon. And I actually might replace a few cards with it.
I waited until after I did the playthrough to do these uh, passwords just because a lot of the cards can be used to cheese the playthrough. And I figured I'd rather not do that. Wait, hang on. Hmm. Let me try that again. It doesn't seem like... It seems like some of these don't work from IGN, although... I don't know how old these... I don't know how old the submission was, because I haven't looked that far down. Okay, looks like the Black Skull Dragon one doesn't actually work. I might have to look for other passwords. Does every card have one of those? Hmm. Not really sure. And some of these you can earn manually from other duelists, and others you can't. So that's why I'm doing them all. Is because it's just sweeping and getting rid of some things. Okay, that one works. Okay, so that works. <sighs> Change of heart. I tried to earn Mirror Wall manually and uh, couldn't do it through Isis, so I pretty much had to use a password to unlock it because it wouldn't show up on the graveyard slots. That's sort of what I insinuate when I say can't get it manually. Or, yeah, can't get it the old-fashioned way. Checking something. Alright. Crush cards next. Okay, so if I were to replace a card with... I basic, I basically found out why Bakura has such a low deck cost, and it's because all of his monsters are a thousand attack or less, unless they're fusion material for Super War Alliance. So, yeah, the, this card's like an ADDC card, and you could put that in a 757 deck, with, but you'd have to make a lot of changes. Hole works.
There's Dragon Seeker. Okay, so that's just a regular get something from there. I've already input the passwords for... I thought I put... Hang on. Elf's Light. No, that's Fairy's Gift. Right, I... Okay. I think this... I think Fairy... Oh, I'll, I'll see if I recognize this card as being something Taya owned. Any card with elf in its name. Okay. Zodia the Forbidden One. And you basically have to have him as a leader to actually have it work. I know some of these can also be deck leaders, which is why some of these codes might not be advisable, but I'm working on it because I'd rather have all the cards instead of none of the cards. There's Fairy King Truesdale. Alright, this is good for plants. Fairy's gift I already inputted in. Ah, okay. So, this card might actually go in the deck. Because I'm going to be facing against Ryoku guys. Uh, yeah. There we go. Gravity bind. Okay. Why does it re reduce strength if the card's already permanently spellbound? And, oh wait, I already had a green kappa. Well, that was interesting. Harpy's Feather Duster.
Like, some of these cards also don't really work all that well. So, I really don't see use of Horn of the Unicorn, for instance, because it's a very situational card. of faith. Hmm. Alrighty. Meteor Dragon. I put meteor, meteor Dragon here. Hmm. Maybe in lieu of one of the baby dragons. Yeah, now I have exactly 757 deck cost. Um, right. Sorry, just looking at the text. I'm doing all of these really fast, so it's getting a little hard to concentrate. Mimi Cat. Hmm. And this card I remember from a previous playthrough. Uh, which had to be used because I couldn't get it off Ishtar no matter how many times I farmed her. And it sucked because I specifically targeted her for that card. Capture chain. It just permanently spellbinds fiends. Wait, hang on. All fiends or opposing fiends? Okay, all fiends. So I'd have to get rid of these. Although that might not be a problem. Considering that the only one I'd really need to use is Zoa. Versago is a. Uh, yeah, he's. Basically, a Versago's ritual material, anyway, and Ryukishin Power, it's only there as a mascot. A potential one, at least. Ah, Robotic Knight. I remember this one, too. Just because I. I mean, I could hunt it down instead. But I want to legitimize these, uh, or at least see if all of these are legit, because only the Black Skull Dragon ones failed me. Okay, that's Robotic Knight. 
Why are there two ver two royal decrees on this list? That's a bit spooky. Oh, wait. I went too far. Royal Decree. Kaiba has that card. There are a couple ones that I don't know who has, but I can safely guess that Sayaru is a Mono on Fobblier card anyway. Sayaru. Pretty much a fiend killer anyway. Huh. I guess if I wanted to run anti-fiends, I pretty much have the cards to do it. Okay, the Serpentine Princess one didn't work. But I know Serpentine's off of Shoddy. And I'll just replace Zola with Slate Warrior for now. Seems like the best option, and get rid of one of the Metal Morphs for something else. Swordsman from a foreign land, uh, I can maybe do that instead. Oh, right. Has to... I sometimes keep trying to press the R3 button on the deck, but you have to select it from the chest. Or you have to push it from the chest. I think I said that again. Almost there. I remember this card too. Because I tried to run the Tactical Warrior deck, so. And that's all, I think. I need to get the Find Cards ability, and then pretty much, yeah. Hmm, alrighty. Let's save. Because now that I've put in all the cards... Sorry, I moved that screen so that way I could focus on this one. Uh, shoot. I guess I could see what... Wait, it's offline? Is the stream offline? Could have sworn. No? Uh, well, I have that segment done anyway, so...